She broke the glass ceiling 10 years ago when she was awarded the Nobel Prize for Economic Sciences. And now, seven years after her death, Kevin Rader explains how Eleanor Ostrom is still breaking that glass ceiling. <laughs> it was 10 years ago this month, Eleanor Ostrom, a political science professor at IU, became the first woman to win a Nobel Prize for Economic Sciences. Yes, I appreciate that this is an honor to be the first woman, but I won't be the last. She confronted a glass ceiling after graduating from UCLA and then shattered it at Indiana University. I like to think that in the vast karmic universe and whatever else we may have gotten wrong with respect to women over our 200 years, Eleanor Ostrom will always count as something Un Indiana University got supremely right. What a happy occasion to celebrate that. Lauren McLean saw her at the airport after she'd received that distinguished award. But I nearly tripped over her because she was just curled up on the floor at the gate behind a row of seats, a Nobel laureate just asleep on the floor. Now some seven years after her death, as IU dedicates a historical marker in her honor, she breaks yet another glass ceiling as the university unveiled a picture of her statue that will someday grace the front of Woodburn Hall. It will be the first statue of a woman on the IU Bloomington campus. So the woman who wrote about how the cultural and natural resources accessible to all of us, like air and water and the planet Earth, will soon be able to inspire others every day as they enter Woodburn Hall and challenge the status quo. In Bloomington, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. As you saw, her historical marker was unveiled today, but they do not yet have a date for the completion of that statue.